Everything's like the stakes are so high. So like every moment is just bigger. Like, you know, the, the drama is just like more intense, but like also the comedic relief is also just funnier. The romantic relationships are um, deeper and, and a bit more grown this season. I would just say season two is more intense, is darker and bigger. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I can say too much, too much more. I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, it really is like, They've up the stakes. It's it's more exciting. Um, there's more suspense and thrill and, and action. And I think we got the opportunity to <clears throat> really delve in, into these characters more and like explore a deeper side of of them. Um, I think with every year that we come back, we're able to sit with these characters for longer. And so I think that's that's a privilege to be able to like you know just explore deeper into these characters and the dynamics and. There's more camaraderie ship and there's there's more trust and there's 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 more love and these characters like are able to like work through their their conflict and 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 come out the other side better people. I think that um, death seeing that is not normal at all and I think it would really affect anybody that would see that no matter what they've been through. I think to some degree it's gonna affect like like someone like Addy more than like it affects Nate because I think Nate has come from like a troublesome background he's he's been through a lot of trauma his mum left his dad is is a raging alcoholic so i think in these sorts of like situations he's able to uh keep his cool somewhat a little more than maybe like someone like addy but that's also like amazing to be able to like play with that dynamic and, and be able to like empathize i think nate really empathizes with addy when she she becomes quite emotional about the whole the whole situation but i think i think it's gonna affect anyone on a really, really deep level. And they, they have to like come together, all of them to like lean on one another and uh, have a sense of camaraderie, which is which is so beautiful to be able to explore. And I think that in the way that the death happened too, and, that, and the, it was a result of like, you know, Jake being Jake and not a really good person or the person that like we all knew him to be. Even the ones, you know, like Ron and Nate who didn't know him that well. It's quite shocking to, I, I could imagine, to like experience someone like around your age and from your high school that you've seen die, but also, you know, in the context that it happened. And then they don't have a lot of time to like go through the grief of experiencing that because they have Simon Says come at them with like, okay, I, I know what you guys did and like, you know, you're basically in my hands and so you have to do as I say. So they don't really have the time to even process that and that's why also every situation uh, that they face, they, you know, they're like either panicking or like they think, oh, the if you see them be more relaxed, it's like because they think this is it, probably. <laughs> oh, I think, I think, in, in my opinion, I think it would be Simon Says. I think there's something really like scary and intimidating about an, Not an, yeah, an entity that you can't see, someone that's like messing with you and like you have no idea who it is because then it just, it brings, it brings upon you a like large sense of paranoia. At least if like you knew the person that was like messing with you, like you you'd be able to like you know there's like a knowing, right? Yeah, but like yeah. but like not knowing is, is is way more scary than oh, like yeah. than knowing. It's, it's yeah, it inflicts paranoia, a sense of paranoia, a large sense of paranoia. Having to wrestle with that as these characters is is you know uh, it's really cool to be able to play with that sort of dynamic. But it's it's also like oh wow, this is like having to empathize with these characters and like play with that dynamic. It's mm -hmm. um, it's really cool. It's really great. I agree. You think that like like you know seeing it from the outside and as a fan of because I, I consider myself a fan of the book mm -hmm. and this story and these characters it was a tad shocking to see where it goes because you know they're they're growing the characters I think within their like lanes but the circumstances like permit the writing to get kind of crazy and see them do things outside of uh, what they would normally do so it takes it it took a little bit of time for me to like adjust to that but then I think the work as an actor is like how do how do you like still keep your character and what they are throughout these very different circumstances and I I want to say that like everyone did an excellent job at that and like we had amazing directors that helped us kind of tap into the darker places and and these sort of situations. Yeah, we really had like free, um, uh, not we, but I guess, I guess like the, the showrunners and all the writers. <laughs> you wrote it. Yeah, we I, had I free range it. to write yeah. everything. <laughs> I actually wrote episode seven. <laughs> no, they are oh, the, the showrunners, the writers, they, they had free reign this season. They were able to like 
you know, take this idea and, and, and run with it and not have it be based off a book. Mm -hmm. um, and they really, really ran with it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so true what Mariani says, like we were just in um, such safe, safe hands with like the writers and, and all the directors. Um, and I think they really did have uh, trust in us too. Um, we were able to lean on them. And I think this, this season two, this world really does, um, you know, it's, it's really sort of turned it up a notch. And I think that was really exciting to like be able to get to play with. There's, there's more suspense and thrill and, and love and being able to like, you know, deepen the relationship between Bronwyn and Nate was such a, such a privilege. And I think, um, you know, props to the writers for doing such a great job with it. Maybe, maybe not. I have to wait and see. I will say that they really go on a journey uh, that like deepens their relationship, whatever that means. And I, th I think the fans are going to be happy. I would say that. I would say episode five. I think um, I think they're really focused on the relationships between the characters. Um, it was more so about the characters than the plot. And episode five is like a, without revealing too much, it's a big surrender to the moment where these characters feel very liberated and they are able to go out and do the things that they've always wanted to do while um, while still being sort of you know uh, murder suspects. So I'm very excited for for episode five. Yeah, yeah I, th I think I have to say the same because it's it's the one episode where, like Cooper said, they have a little bit of freedom to go be teenagers and like have some fun and try new things. Um, it's a big episode in terms of that. It's a fun one.